In this video, we'll talk about how to transfer data from Google Sheets into Microsoft SQL Server. Let's dive in. In this video, we want to start off inside of Google Sheets and show the table that we're going to take over into Shipyard and then into SQL Server. Um, so you can see it's just this little two row sample table that we created. Uh, and, and you can take any size table from Google Sheets into um, into Shipyard and into, C and into SQL Server, but we're just going to do, we're just doing a small one just for um, just for time's sake, so that the process will run quickly. So let's jump over into Shipyard and see how we can do this process. Uh, so the first thing we want to do is we want to search for our our Google Sheets um, our Google Sheet blueprints, and we want to click on the Download Sheet to CSV blueprint. So we're going to click on that, and as soon as you click on that, it's going to create a vessel for us over there in the Fleet Builder as well as pop up the authorization guide that if it's your first time using the blueprint, you can click on that, which is going to be helpful for finding the inputs that we're going to need in a moment, as well as setting up authorization for Google Sheets. Uh, so we want to go ahead and name that vessel download sheet to CSV. Um, and then we can go down into our inputs down there in the bottom of our vessel and we can name it or we're going to name our, our, Google, sp our Google spreadsheet that we're going to take over, which is the YouTube video example. Uh, we're going to skip tab name and share drive name um, and then go down the local file name, uh, which is test.csv there. Uh, so it's important that that's the name of the file that we're going to name or, or we're going to take later on to, um, to our next vessel. So it's important we remember the test.csv there. Uh, we can skip local folder name and cell range um, for this video. And then we just need to go ahead and, and we're going to copy our service account uh, and paste it in there as well. Um, it's also important to note for each vessel inside a shipyard that there's also email notifications for any error or for a completion of an on-demand run, um, as well as you can set up guardrails for the number of retries, the time between retries, and runtime cutoff as well. Uh, so it looks like our Google Sheet vessel is, is good to go. Uh, so now we can search for our Microsoft SQL Server blueprints, um, and you can see that we have a upload CSV to table uh, blueprint that we can use. Um, and so we can name this vessel upload CSV to table. Um, and again, now you just got to grab your SQL Server um, input information. So the host, the username, uh, your password as well. Um, so you can put that in there. And then whatever your database is called, ours is testdb. Um, and then we want our file name, uh, which was test.csv from earlier. So it's whatever that, whatever that file name is from the first vessel. It's important that they match. And then the table name is what your table is called inside of a SQL Server. So ours is data data from Google Sheets. Um, you can append data, replace table data, or only add data if the table is empty. Or we're just going to go ahead and replace it this time. So it looks like this vessel is good to go as well. So now we're ready to connect them together. Um, so we connected those two vessels together. Um, so now it's so now looking at what we done inside a shipyard. We had we downloaded our sheet to a CSV based on a success, and then it'll run the upload CSV to table. Um, so now the last thing we need to do before we save and finish and run this is go to fleet settings and name our fleet. Um, so we'll name it Google Sheets to uh, Microsoft SQL Server. Okay, so now that we have our fleet name, we can go down to save and finish uh, and click that. Um, so it's going to take us to a page that says the fleet has been created successfully and we can click run your fleet. Uh, so it's going to tell us that the fleet has been uh, scheduled to run successfully, and it's going to kick off an on-demand run here in Shipyard. Um, so that just means that it's going to kick off as soon as you as soon as you want. You can click Run now in the top right-hand corner to, uh, to to start an on-demand run. Um, so we also have our trigger tab on the top of our screen where you can also schedule a run based on time, and you can also do a, an API trigger as well to kick off a fleet programmatically. You can see inside of our fleet log that the uh, first vessel is already complete, and we can click inside of that on our Gantt chart, um, which will take us into the Python output uh, for that specific vessel run, as you can see here. Uh, you can see the inputs that we put in, as well as it telling us that it successfully downloaded the YouTube video example. Um, and so now you can see that the second vessel is also complete. Um, so both of our vessels have finished running now. Uh, which means that our process inside of Shipyard is complete. So now we can op open up SQL Server um, and look at the data that's put in there. And you can see that data matches uh, what we had in Google Sheets. Um, so in this video, we talked about how to take data from Google Sheets and then import it into Microsoft SQL Server as a table. If you have any questions about this solution or any other potential solution, use the link in the description to set up a time to chat with our team of data experts. You can go to shipyardapp.com to start building powerful workflows just like this for free. Want to see us tackle more solutions? Check out these related videos.